Welcome back my boys to Platinum Indie Sunday where you guys recommend me some indie titles and I platinum it and if you guys don't recommend it I just pick a bunch of them. Today join me as we platinum a bunch of different games. Now today I'm going to be platinuming a bunch of anime games as you can tell from the title and there's going to be a huge rant on it because there's a lot of these weird anime games so join me today and let's enjoy. Our first game is called Anime UNI. Um, I don't know what UNI means. <laughs> and it cost me $2.49. And it has partial nudity and sexual themes. It has 3.95 ratings with only 82 people rating it on the PlayStation Store. I mean, play most people aren't rating things on the PlayStation Store. So who knows? This could be a good game. We don't know that. Um, it's an anime, an adult game, I guess. It's a puzzle game. Um, and it's called Hentai UI. A puzzle game that can be played with one hand. Whoa, what? Uh, okay, uh, what? Uh, it's called Anime UI, but they have Hentai UI as their title. I guess they wanted to switch it up. It has 32 trophies, and it's one of those games where pretty much you just grind it out to get a trophy in the process of it. And it has 71% of players. Um, this is the greatest indication that you could tell that um, this is probably the easiest game to platinum, uh, because majority of the players who played it already platinum it. So all we have to do is just play the game, and we get the platinum trophy. Alright, so the game starts off with, and this is all it is for this game, by the way. So you have a vague kind of, like, hint in the background what the character looks like, and you kind of have to match it up with the puzzle. The girl in question, they switch up every time, but they rotate. Um, you get an achievement for every time you complete one of these puzzles. There's three for each uh, pose that the girl does, and they eventually strip down into their underwear. Um, and that's all you get, um, because PlayStation's TOS, I'm assuming, is, like, you can't, you know, make, um porn games on the PlayStation Store, and I'm not for or against that, I don't really care, PlayStation could do whatever they want, I mean, this ain't Steam, <laughs> I mean, it, I, I just wish they would do one thing or the other in the process of this, because now we have this, like, weird, vague thing where people can make these kind of, like, softcore anime hentai games, where it just shows, like, kind of like a side boob and some titty even though you have games like Baldur's Gate that literally like you could watch your characters have full-on sex I don't know how that's okay but how these guys have to go around that I guess because Baldur's Gate is an actual game but pretty much as you see the entire time every time we do one of these puzzles we get a trophy in the process of it and there's like two 28 puzzles or 30 i don't even remember how many 33 i believe it's it's ridiculous it, and it rotates the same scenery with the same girls over and over again but the thing i don't like most about all these is that there's a lot of games like this there's so many similar games like this in the process hell we played a couple of them that are like novel versions of them that actually had story but the concept was the guy um he sprays axe body spray and he gets a bunch of bad bitches i don't have an issue with these as a whole i don't really care but I just think it's so weird that we're in this like kind of middle ground where it has to be softcore and it can't be like hardcore. I don't I don't really give a shit. If people want to buy hardcore that titles, they can. I don't know why PlayStation's TOS is so weird. But anyway, we platinum the game and we're just gonna hop on into the next game. Alright, tangent aside, apparently there's a game called Hentai vs. Evil. Alright, let's hop into this. I spent $4 on this game, so I hope it's good. It has 558 ratings with a 4 star rating. So, I mean, that's looking really promising. It's an action third person shooter that came out in 2021 by East Asian Soft. Uh, I guess software, I don't know, East Asian software, I have no idea. But the description reads, Rescue anime girls from hordes of demons and zombies. Sometimes a little zombie killing and demon slaying is all you need. But a dash of naughty flavor spikes things up certainly can't hurt, right? In anti versus evil, demons have invaded the city, the suburbs, and even the beach. Turning the residents into flesh-eating zombies and throwing cute girls into cages. It's time to stop this madness. We must save our anime girls! This game is featuring three playable characters, all customized to your liking. Hentai vs. Evil offers a... I don't even know what the hell that word means. Action hero that prizes free... Okay, alright. Let's... Let, how many trophies does this game have? This game has 16 trophies in total. Um, majority of them are gold trophies. Um, just so that way they get your PlayStation trophy level up. I don't know, a lot of... A lot of games like this do, do it. 46.4% people got the platinum trophy called Weapon Master. Now, that's pretty much all there is. There's a bunch of trophies where we just had to collect a bunch of stuff and kill a bunch of zombies and beat maps so let's hop into it all right what's up guys this is <laughs> oh i gave it a straight this is hentai versus evil oh i hope nobody heard me say that <laughs> all right we're jumping into it oh my favorite they got sliders well not really sliders but man we can customize everything oh, 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 oh. all right i made a character 
Damn! Alright, so there's three maps we could choose from, and uh, two different game modes. One's Rescue, one's Survive. Our Rescue is where we have to actually complete the levels. There's the difficulty of Easy, Normal, and the three maps are the Small Town, um, the Beach, and the City. Um, I put on Easy because there's no reason to play on Normal. <laughs> Yo, we got to go. Oh shit! Yo, is that a work? Is that a... Hello? Yo, that's a zombie! Damn! Damn! That's a... That's, that's a... Zombie! I'm out of ammo! I'm out of ammo! Reload! Grab the other gun! Yeah, the game has a photo mode and I was able to experiment with a bunch of cool shots in yeah. the process of it. It's pretty dope. Anime girls! And... Whatever the fuck this thing is! Who will win? And who will die? Find out on Hentai versus Evil. Spoiler, I win. <laughs> oh shit. What the fuck? Oh, oh they eat me! They eat me! They eat me! Yo, what's up, Reaper? Yo, what's up, bro? I need to catch the wall. Oh shit! Is that the Grim Reaper? I'm dead. Who will win? Who will survive? Then come on, pussies. Oh, they are orcs. Orcs only one. <laughs> so stupid. So there are a bunch of boxes just floating in the middle of the air um, for all three maps. If you shoot at them, they'll drop a special type of ammo, which are really fun to use. We gotta collect like a bunch of them for a trophy. Type of ammo. Oh shit! <laughs> Hold on, I gotta see this in slow mo. For the rescue game mode, each level has a certain amount of reapers you have to kill, and you always have to save one of the girls in a cage. There's a bunch of weapons you can get, but one of the biggest guns, one of the game changer guns that made me have a bunch of fun was the sniper rifle. This changed the whole game. Alright, I actually, this game is really fucking fun. Oh, uh, hell yeah, box collector. Let's break all the fucking teeth. Oh, yo, we're in first per Yo, I can do. Ooh. <laughs> okay. Ooh. Alright, hold on. <laughs> we're gonna trick shot in this fucking game, boys. We're gonna fucking trick shot. Can I update? I can't. Okay, oh, settings, settings, settings. Settings. Yes, yes. Alright, bro, we're gonna fucking trick shot in this bitch, alright? Alright, we got this. Alright, alright. Ooh. Oh, alright. I, I gotta get the trick shot out. Trick shot, trick shot. Whoa! Oh, fuck. Alright, I fucked up, guys. Ugh. Okay, so it goes based off of... Alright, alright, alright. Fuck! Damn it, I'm trying to get a trick shot in! Dude, alright, alright. Okay, hold on. It needs to be... Uh... Did I get it? Yo, I got it! Let's fucking go, boys! I fucking got it! I'm not gonna lie to you, you stack the sniper rifle up with some blue bullets, dude, and you get some crazy ass shots in, dude. It's like super goofy and super fun. I don't know why, I had a shitload of fun playing this game while just killing a bunch of stuff. It's something I could play when I was a kid. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Bro, they just, dude, this, this ammo thing is amazing. Look at the bag! Six, six, six <laughs> damage! There's the AK shotgun, the sniper rifle, and the grenade launcher. The grenade launcher fucking sucks, if I'm honest with you. It just deals clusters. It's the sniper rifle's way more fun. Oh. Shit, what kind of what kind of chocolate they got? They got pizza. They got yo 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 yo. <laughs> They're popping this 7-Eleven. Get out of here, dude. This is my convenience store. Alright, they got regular. They got cereal. They got, oh bro, they got sausage, bro, they got everything. Oh shit! Hey, uh, can I get some ice cream, sir? How much will it be? How much will, no, you saying like, sir? Oh, you want me to go to the register? I mean, I can just grab it here. All right, I'm gonna get some pizza. So, all right, let me get some regular cereal and some toilet paper. How much that gonna cost me? $50? <laughs> no, oh shit!
So pairing up the blue power-up bullets, you know, the ones that send them flying with the AK is probably the best thing you could do because you could literally mow down enemies because the AK has 30 bullets and you could just, it's an automatic uh, assault rifle. You could literally just hold down R2 and you're pretty much killing everything. And it doesn't help that you have unlimited ammo as well. But we got even more achievements too. Bro needs to rock that. Like, why you got an hourglass on you, bro? You need to rock that digital, bro. Come on, you don't need an hourglass. You're in the future. After rescuing the first girl, the next level you can play as the other girl or the girl you're playing before. Um, they all are pretty much the same. There's nothing different about them. Um, we got a bunch of other trophies like Box Collector 3. We got a bunch of more, which is Zombie Killer 3. Pretty much I spent at most an hour on this game which is killing things and just collecting things. It wasn't hard. And we defeated the Pirate Bay. I don't know why there was a Pirate Bay. Then we got to the city and we killed all three of Orc Killer 3. We killed a bunch of Orcs that we needed to and we got the Platinum. Not gonna lie to you, I actually like Hentai vs. Evil. I can't believe I said that out loud. But this game was super fun. I think I would give this game overall probably a 6 out of 10. This game was actually pretty fun. And for 3 bucks, I'm not even gonna be mad. Because I had like an hour or two of fun playing this game. But on to the next game. Our next game for today is called Nico Journey. Nico Journey is one of those weird games that I bought for about like $6. I can't believe how much I spent on this, so I really hope this video actually makes the profit to do that. About 21 people rated it, and those people who rated it, um, rated 3 stars is at most they got. 2.86. Man, they really rounded up for the PlayStation. It's an action-adventure platformer. It's made by East Asian Soft again. Man, these guys love making these weird anime games. But, um, it came out in 2023, um, around... The summertime was it August yeah around August and its description reads rescue your sister from an evil wizard leap into a colorful and a mysterious fantasy world as you take the role of Nico heroine an old wizard has plagued the land endangering the magical creatures so um, pretty much this wizard is the the number one op he's a number one villain whatever this game is a platform so there's 32 trophies in total we have to collect like 10,000 coins for one of them and then there's a bunch of other ones where we just beat the levels that's all we have to do it's pretty simple as things go and the amount of people who platinum this game is 15.9 percent this is actually the lowest we have for this uh video so far so let's hop on into nico journey Alright guys, welcome to Nico Journey. Um, we can edit these bitches. Okay. We can edit their, we can edit their breast size. Alright, this is kind of like the other game. Alright, let's get into the game. So there is 28 levels. Um, my goal is to collect coins. There's a roguelike mode, which is kind of cool. There's a village mode. village, And then there's just new game. Let's check it out. Let's see if it's an actual game. Nico and her sister was resting in the village, by themselves, chilling and bullying. They were ready to have a great day, until something magically arrived. And suddenly, an old wizard appeared with his henchmen, unexpectedly for everybody to see. What the fuck is that, yo? I don't want to deal with that. They were not intelligent. Hee 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 hee, villagers from these lands, from now I will need your vitality in order to make my penis erect. I need all the Viagra. <laughs> Alright, so Nico and her sister ends up checking out the village, and the village is absolutely obliterated. The old man let out a really bad stinky fart, and eventually they um encounter the wizard, and the wizard traps Nico in a bubble, and eventually abducts um, Nico's sister. Um, I don't know why he didn't just kill them. I have no idea. Yeah, if you could tell, all the characters talk very weirdly. There's NPCs that you could talk to throughout each level. Um, they usually have nothing useful to say whatsoever. Um, I'm gonna be real honest with you, I didn't get that far into the game. But there's a bunch of campsites we can actually, um, go to and they act as checkpoints in the process. 
Pretty much in order to kill enemies, we just jump on their heads, and then eventually we talk to another NPC, and we encounter our first ever boss, and this boss is kind of a pushover bitch, and like I said before, the NPCs have nothing useful to say, so what we have to do in order to fight this boss, who is just a big orc, in order to beat the orc boss, so what you have to do is just tire him out. You have to make him whiff attacks until eventually he does an animation where you can jump on his hammer instead of his fucking back to do damage to him, and eventually he'll lose his hammer, then you can jump on his back, and it's probably the most goofiest ending to a boss fight. It reminds me a little bit of Skyrim's death animation. <laughs> Not at the end of every level, but the end of some levels, you'll be able to save the old villagers because for some reason the wizard was just, I don't know, he was kidnapping them. I have no real idea. But eventually we get to the next level, and the next level is all about going to heaven or making our way to heaven. Why? I have no fucking idea. Eventually you do end up going to heaven. In the Nico verse, you go to heaven. Nico is so OP, she could just travel to heaven at will and pray and ask for the gods to help her fight the evil wizard man, but for some reason it's not God or Jesus there, it's some dude that's the hero version, I have no fucking idea what's going on, and you used, heaven is just filled with these weird bubbles, so guys, if you ever go to heaven, if you guys in the, are in the afterlife at some point, you know what I mean, just use these bubbles to talk to this champion guy, I, I, I don't know, this guy ends up giving us a upgrade, um, and the upgrade is pretty much we can use boxing gloves and he gives us a glider. The boxing gloves is how we're going to do damage to enemies going forward. And then the glider is so that way we can do even more platforming. And I'm going to be real honest with you. This is why I gave it for the game because the platforming here fucking sucked. I like died for like an hour trying to beat it. And I just rage quit the game. So in that process, I'm going to give Nico a 3 out of 10. Fuck this game. Let's hop on to the next one. Our next game is called Senses Midnight, and I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I had so much footage for this game that it could be its own video, so I'm going to leave it at that. I'm gonna be like those TikTok videos of like, oh yeah, look at part two. Um, I spent $7.49 on this game, so for this video in total, I spent $19.98 for this video in total. I'm gonna tease you guys a little bit on why you might want to see a video on this game. Alright. Damn! Yeah, since it's midnight, has a big old budget, and if you guys want to see a video on this game, let me know in the comments below. Now, let's talk about PlayStation's um, games. There's a bunch of puzzle games that we played before, with the anime hentai games, pretty much. There's a lot of them on the PlayStation Store, and I, I'm gonna be honest with you, I'm probably not gonna play a lot of them. And some of the games they put on there are way too overpriced, especially for visual novel games. I'm not trying to break the bank, $30 on playing a game, even if it's on sale, it's 28 bucks. nah. This concludes Platinum Indie Sunday. Till next time, my fellow C-Sippers. Love you all. Bye!